Hey guys, so today what I'd like to show you is how easily and quickly you can build riffs and full songs with guitars, drums, and bass using just two or three plugins. And everything I'm gonna do can be applied to any DAW, like Pro Tools, Logic, Reaper, Cubase, whatever, and they all come with built-in instruments and plugins to create sounds like I'm gonna make. But I'm also gonna explain the plugin instruments I've chosen to use for this project in case you like the way they sound and would like to get them for yourself. No sponsor or any of that stuff on the stuff you'll see me use, just things I tried and liked and now use regularly, starting with Crim Drums from Bogren Digital. I had been looking for a new drum sample plugin uh, like instrument for a while now, and I came across these Crim Drums and I liked the look and sound of them. So I spent the 99 bucks and uh, fired it up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new stereo instrument track. This process will be a little bit different with every DAW, but you'll get the, the gist of it here. So here we go with the drums and I'm going to find contact, which is the instrument used to play the crim drum. So this comes up. Uh, and uh, somehow we get this going here. There we go. There it is. That's what it looks like. Ready to go here. Let's hear what some of these sounds like. So pretty cool there. There are different presets for different like mixed kits that he's got going on. We'll check those out in a sec. But uh, so what I could easily start doing here is just start writing notes within here. I'm dragging them. to different MIDI keys. But, oh, and we have this mixer here. So you can adjust every parameter of every drum if you like but we're not going to do any of that we're going to leave it all as is but we're going to get into this grooves here which is pre-made fills and beats that uh, you can choose from and just drag into your session and jam along with so that's going to be the point of this whole thing here is that we're going to just take some pre-made grooves here pull them in write some guitars and bass over it and have a little riff section done in no time at all so uh, we start here here's just some folders extreme metal at 210 bpm that's what that means that's what they were created for that bpm but as soon as you drag them into your session they're going to instantly and perfectly conform to whatever bpm uh, beats per minute that your session is currently set to. Mine's set to 120 beats per minute. So uh, if we drag in one of these at 210, it's going to automatically conform to one, um, 120. So let's hear what some of these sound for. Here's a fill. And that's just going to keep looping. And say we wanted that, we would just go right here and just drag it into our session. And then now it's in there. We could put another one right after it if we wanted. And that's going to sound like this. I think I actually didn't line those up. There we go. One. So together. Did I do this exact same one twice in a row? I may have. Let's just, let's just, so now we'll put this in there. So that fill is going to lead right into this. And I could go in and change any of the stuff that I wanted by dragging them around, you know, whatever. So I'm going to get rid of all of that uh, metal ballad, some of those modern metal. But what I like the sound of is this progressive metal in 6.8. And uh, I found this guy here and this. This is what got me started. As soon as I heard this, I was instantly inspired with a riff came to mind and I just started building and that's when I'm gonna show you what I did here. I 
thought that sounded awesome. So let's drag that into our session here. I'm going to put that right at the uh, beginning of our session. So as soon as I hit play. Now, if you remember that riff I played at the beginning, it was like. Dun, 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 so I pictured that coming in, like the drum starting and then me coming in like this. You can do it any way you like, but that's the way I pictured it. So then I'm going to take another one here. So this one sound like. Good. So I like that. I'm just going to line that right up after that. Okay. And um, then we need to fill in a little bit of space, at least for my arrangement here, because, because I'm leading with the drums. You see, I came in three, I came in with the guitars three bars late. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take three bars from this, copy paste it right on here. Now we're going to have a full eight bar section of me playing guitars there. Let's throw in another one. Group one. Yeah, I like that because this kind of like goes into almost like a like a halftime feel. So I'm going to grab that one and put that right here. Okay, so you're gonna see how this is gonna like fall into it. Boom. It's got that more of a halftime feel. One, two, three, four, one, two, four, boom. So I'm gonna double that. Just drag, I can drag another one over, or in Pro Tools Command D, just copies another one over. And then we're just going to end it after this. And I wanted to end on a downbeat on the last bar there. So I'm simply just going to draw in a kick and a couple crashes. There's one. There's one. So you can just search around in here. You can find all the MIDI mapping within the drum program if you want to see specifically, but I usually just find sounds that I like when I'm trying to dry out in there. So um, you can see it's going to end on a downbeat. Boom. There. Drums for this section are done, and this is exactly how I do things. I put some guitars then in, and then I just see where I want to take it next, and I can just come over and find more based on what kind of arrangement or feel or fill that I wanted, and I just keep dragging them in and keep adding guitars. But one section at a time here, is all I'm going to show in this video. We have a drum section made. And again, this is for that whole clip that you heard at the beginning. So let's bring in some guitars. I'm going to do two new mono audio tracks. This is going to be guitar left. The next one's going to be guitar right. Okay, left will be panned hard left, right will be panned hard right. And I like having my guitars. I'm going to bring these up. And now let's bring in a plugin. Another plugin that I've been liking lately is the Bogren Digital Amp Knob. Super simple. I made a video on this. You can check that out if you like, where I take you through the whole thing, but it's so easy. It's just called the Amp Knob. It's one knob. Okay. So this is just the amount of gain. There's no other controls, no EQ, no, I think it has a built in gate, but, uh, or maybe you can actually adjust the gate somehow. But anyways, I just rip it like this straight out of the box, which is the point of this video. The crim drums, we didn't make any adjustments to just straight out of the box, put some stuff in. Now we're going to do the same thing with guitar. Here's what this sounds like. Set the input of this guy. Okay. Give it some gain. You're also hearing my vocal mic here and the strings being picked up mixed with that, but you won't hear it during playback, only when like I'm talking like this. Um, so then uh, another amp knob on here. 
and our guitar tracks are set up and ready to go. I'll just record a little bit to show you. Remember, I wanted to come in after kind of eight, so. So basically, that's just kind of the riff I had in my head that I was inspired by from these drums. And it was easy. And yeah, just like where that went. So you can do the same thing, you know, just have some drums playing, start playing some riffs, start building, cutting them up and just making something sound good. That's just what I did. This is what I came up with. So um, I'm going to re-record my left side here all the way, then my right side, make sure they're nice and tight. And after I've done that, they look like this. Boom, here's what that sounds like. pre-mixing here. I think the guitars are a tiny bit loud and so I'm just going to adjust their individual channels to start here. Bring these down a couple. Maybe bring the drums up a couple dB and let's hear what that sounds like. Just like that, super easy. Now we're just bringing some bass. So I'm gonna do a new mono instrument track, call this bass. Okay, just personally, I like my bass track to be red. And now I'm gonna go uh, notes. And to create my bass sound, there's a million different instruments you can use, but uh, one that works for me is called Expand, which is exclusive to Pro Tools, but again, every DAW has their own guitar plugins, bass, drums, everything like that. And we'll just go to bases, choose about hard pick bass. Let's see what that sounds like. So um, this, these riffs I've written here are in drop C, so our root note is going to be C. And that's going to start right here. Okay, so I just would kind of need to start building this. And what I would do is just mimic the guitar riff to start exactly the notes that I'm playing. And then I would kind of cut them up a little bit and have the bass notes kind of match the drums a little bit, like certain kick and snare fills, because that's what a bass player would do. You typically follow the roots of the guitar, but play in rhythm with the drums. So, um, so this is gonna be like, boom, dun. I can also use the guitar tracks, the waves forms here as visuals to see like, okay, that's where the next note is. This is C, um, I think that's also a C. Yep, that's also a C, the octave of it. So we go right up there. Down, 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 down. Let's see what that's like. See, I can see that. Uh, another one. Uh, let's hear that. Good. 
so then uh, maybe I don't really, if I don't like the sound of that bass, I can make adjustments. I can add other plugins to adjust it. But um, one just easy thing here, I like this Joey Sturgis Hellraiser. It sounds pretty sick. Um, but I like uh, I set myself up with a little preset I call the RA1. Okay, so it does sound a little, um, you know, virtual. You know, it's uh, not like super true bass feel and, and articulation and all that, but it gets the job done. Not bad. So then I just continued writing in the rest of this, and here's what that looks like. Boom. Done. Okay. So... We're pretty good here. I may need to make a bass volume adjustment now after we hear this, but let's, here's what we got. So you see how that downbeat at the end that I added there, that kick and that snare on the drums. Just to finish it off here, but typically I wouldn't have put that there and I would have continued with the song. This seems like a good intro to go and, you know, we had like a verse. Now maybe we'd hit like a pre-chorus, then a chorus, then a verse two, then a pre two, a chorus two, bridge, outro, whole song done all by just being inspired by bringing in some pre-made drum loops and then just putting some of your riffs over it. Or if you have riffs that you've already written in your head, pop those out, you know, record them to a click track, then go in to the uh, Bogan Digital and just find something that sounds good. And uh, just start dragging stuff in. It'll, like I said, it'll match your tempo and it's really that easy. So yeah, uh, well, I hope you guys found that interesting, useful, perhaps inspiring. Uh, I know if you're new to the game, it's kind of a, a lot to digest, or even if you know what you're doing with this stuff, like I said, hopefully it can inspire you in a way just to see how I do it or pick up some new techniques and stuff like that. If you're interested in more, I have a playlist here on the channel, song production, songwriting, audio stuff that I recommend you check out, plus loads of other tutorials on my channel here because I just wanna uh, help you learn and get going. And you gotta start somewhere, you gotta just dive in. I know a lot of people are apprehensive because they don't even know how to get guitar sound into their computer, but it's just a little research, watch some videos and just getting started. And then the world opens and it's such a fun world. I have so many audio engineer friends and guys dabbling around and stuff like that. And we just talk about just how fun this stuff is, uh, just creating music exploring and learning, finding new things, talking to people about it, and hearing your music really come to life. So, like I said, I just hope this can be helpful for you. If you want to know and more and get even a little bit closer, please check out my Patreon campaign, which is a big help to me, helps support the channel. There's behind the scenes content, guitar tabs, early looks at my videos, all that kind of stuff. So I hope you'll check that out, maybe get involved and learn more about the guitar. Not only do I have all my free uh, lessons here on the channel, but I also have my metal guitar instructional DVD that teaches songwriting, arranging, soloing, riffing, all that kind of stuff. So please check that out. And I appreciate everybody watching here. Let me know if you want more of these. I love making them. Cheers, I'm Rob Arnold. I'll see you on the next one.